Hey, welcome back. I want to give a special shout out to this man right here. K Dog 7454. He asked a question, what camera do you use for this footage? Thanks. Enjoyed the action. Well, I put in here that I use a Minolta Pro Shot MN 67Z. Okay? But let me show you. First of all, let's go back years ago when I first started, I started using this. It's old and, um, I mean, it works, but it's old and everything else. Now, here's the beast I use. Okay. Right here. This is that Minolta that I use. What I don't like... About the Minolta, this here camera though, no matter what, is that the battery goes dead on it so fast. That and this tiny itty bitty screen, okay? If you're trying to look in it, you have to get way up on it like this. That's a lot of movement, you know, to see it. Even though I can adjust this and everything else to whatever, however I want it. I still have to get way up on it like I'm doing here. <laughs> Just to turn around and get it out there. Okay? Just to see where everything's at. I don't like this real small screen. That, that, I don't like it. It's not big enough for me to actually see what I'm trying to focus in on. Alright? But this is my Minolta. It can go wireless. You can sit there and do the record video recording like I'm like I got it on right there. You got some kind of scan. I don't scan nothing. And then I got Wi-Fi, then fancy face. Then I got an M for whatever. A S P So as soon as possible, I guess. And then you got for taking a picture. However, I keep it right there recording, right there on that, right there, and with the recording, I can take this button as I'm recording, and I can click it, press it down, and I can take a, a picture with that, and right here is also my zoom, which makes this really sucky, it's way out in the front. So, in order to zoom, the deer will see your hands right here in front of the camera. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let me close this part up. Now, if you're trying to zoom it and you're reaching around the camera, this here is what's in front of the camera. Like this. Okay? So, that's a bad thing. I don't like it. And the autofocus, because I do have it on there. Oh, I got it on smart. I got it on the smart. But, um. Yeah. It easily goes in and out of focus. Yeah, it, it goes in and out of focus, like my wife said. Also, if. So, that part, I don't like that part about it. But, it is better. Even though it's 20 megapixels, it's better than this at 24 megapixels. Okay? This thing just don't cut it right here. Because you really look, get all blurred and everything else with it for the most part. This here, it's a lot cleaner. The pictures are more crisp. The videos are more crisp when it does focus in. So, K Dog 7454, shout out to you. Thank you for your question. And I hope that this here answers your um, question on what I shoot, what I use to shoot. But, um, where do we get this? Through Finger Hut. Okay, we got this through Finger Hut. And if they have any suggestion for a good, and if yeah, and if you got that's not a fortune, yeah, and if you got a 
suggestions on a camera that's better than this. Because this holds a 64 gigabyte card in there. And like I said about the battery, it goes dead quick. Extremely quick. So, let's take a picture of that. We got the photo. Okay, K Dog. Mr. 7454. I hope this answers your question. And I throw a question back out to you. If you if you know of a camera that's relatively cheap that some poor broke redneck like myself can afford, hey, let me know. Okay? Because I can use something a little bit better that whenever I'm foc trying to focus, it actually focuses on what I'm trying to focus on instead of giving me blurs up close on me. <laughs> Either that or I just need to learn to use it better. Okay? So, I'm going to go with both. My fault that it I can't use the camera because I'm not digitally inclined. Closest I know about digitally inclined, about doing things, is turning my phone on and turning it off. All right? I'm old school. You know, no phones. Back whenever I had a camera and I had to borrow it, okay, that was in the 70s, and that was a Kodak 110 where you had to take it in to one of them um, Kodak film booths, get it developed, cost you like $5 for like 100 pictures. Nowadays, it costs you like $70 for five pictures. But, yeah, dude, this is what I use. Thank you again for your comments. I'm glad you enjoyed the action, as you said. And I hope this video helps you.